This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing tips, tricks, and hidden techniques in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to add depth of field to video using the focus blur. Here I've got a lovely photograph of a New England church with immense depth of field. Everything from the stone fence in the foreground to the trees and fall foliage in the background, everything is in focus. And while the church is white and your eye would probably go there first, I want to make sure that your eye goes to the church first. And one of the things to do that is depth of field or focus. Select the clip and let's go to the blur category. Grab the focus effect and drop it on top of the clip. This gives me a center of focus in the middle of the picture and I can drag this around to say what I want to put in focus and not. Well, let's see what we can do in terms of tweaking it. Let's go to the inspector, select the clip, and I'm going to drag the amount way up so we can see what we're working with here. The amount refers to the amount of the blur. Softness determines how sharp the edge is. See how that blur is really sharp when the softness is virtually zero? And really, really, oh, it's actually <laughs> overwhelming when the softness is too high. So what this is doing is, it's the feathering. Softness could best be thought of as feathering. I'm going to make it really hard for a second. The width determines the width of the oval that we're working with. And the height determines the height of the oval. Well, I want to put this clear area right over the church. I've turned the softness all the way down. And now we can make this work just the way that we want in terms of now that top is a little bit out of focus. We'll see that more in a second. So now I'm going to increase the softness to give us a greater illusion of depth of field and then pull the amount back into something much more realistic. And notice how now we, I mean, your eye has to go to the church, except this is just too much like a spotlight. I generally want to have the width all the way out out, that's this way, to give the idea that this whole region is in focus and this whole region is out of focus. Well, that's the focus filter. It gives us control over a pseudo depth of field. We're not really playing with depth of field. We can't in a 2D video, but we can give the illusion of depth of field by having the foreground go deeply soft. And because of the way the filter is built with its soft edges and soft oval, we can fool the eye into thinking it's looking at a picture with a very shallow depth of field. It's the focus blur inside Final Cut. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at tips, tricks, and hidden techniques inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 276. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.